Luke chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. So it was as multitudes pressed about him to hear the word of God. Then he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But fishermen had gone from them and were watching their net. Then he got into one of the boats, which was Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and tossed a multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Launch out into deep and let down your net for a catch. But Samuel answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and coached nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their net was breaking. So they sent her to their partner in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and fished filled boat, the boat so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus near and said, Depart from me, for I am sinner. I am sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish which they had taken. And so also were James and John, the son of Jephthah, who were partnered with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, for now you will catch men. So when they had brought their boat to land, they forsook all and followed him. In a great passage, how Jesus called his disciples. We see Jesus' message was all the way to the individual. And he took a time to help personally. And it, it take, we see in fishermen, they take courage and daring and passion and determination to walk on the sea. We see in this passage, it takes a great deal of faith. How Peter, he had faith in God's word. We see the key word, the key was in this passage is his faith in the word of God. As all we discussed about God's word is sufficient, God's word is enough. We see Simon also. He was faith in God's word. That's what we see in verse 4 and 5. When he stopped speaking, he said to Simon, Lock out into the deep, let down your net for catch. Yet the whole night, they are catching a fish. They got nothing. We see fishermen, they never catch in daytime mostly. But they use, they spend in night time. But day time for them, it, it is not easy to catch a fish also in day time. That's what. But he listened to God's word. Let down your net for a catch. For Dr. J. Vernon, M.C. Key, he said that word. Every pulpit is a fishing boat. A way to get out the word of God and attempt to catch a fish. That means. The way Simon responds is very beautiful. Despite in the word of God. Thank you. Yeah, you know, uh, in verse 8, <clears throat> and Simon fell to his knees and said, Go away from me, Lord, I'm a sinful man. And you know, the closer you get to God, the more you should recognize what sins that you have. 
And that was what I was talking about that pastor. How could you do that? How, how come you're not convicted? How could you do all those things right. and not be convicted? The closer you are to God, you should, you know, he can say, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a sinful man because he's getting closer to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So, you know, go away from me. Um, but you, the Holy Spirit should convict you. You know, things like, like I said before, things that we used to do, we didn't think they were sin. We didn't really care. Now it's like it's disturbing to us, you know. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I like that, that part too. Yeah, I like how Brother Fang said that, um, you know, trust in the Word of God. Jesus said to do something. Peter's like, you know, we already tried. But verse yeah. 5, he says, nevertheless, at your word, we will let down our nets. You know, so think about God's word today. I mean, we may not agree with everything that's in it, but nevertheless, we obey it. We, we talked about Halloween a little while ago. We may, may, we may think it's innocent. Nevertheless, God's word says it's an abomination, so I don't do it. Yes, um, I may like the preacher that's up there. Nevertheless, his word tells me to beware. So I'm going to beware. You know, it's it just, we got to be this way. We got to trust the word of God, just the same way Peter and the apostles did there. And, and what was the result of all that? From now on, you will catch men. <clears throat> I want to say, but no, but I'm not an eloquent speaker. I can't do these things. No, you will catch men. And follow him. And they followed him. Amen. They forsook all and followed him. When he, uh, we see, when he obeyed God's word, he let down his neck. Mm -hmm. And then, because of obeying God's word, in verse 9 and verse 7, we see, verse 7 and 8. Depart from me, for I am sinful man. Mm -hmm. What God has done in his life, he showed medical, he realized that who he is, who he was. Yeah. He will obey God's word. Every day we are living, we will realize who we are. Without knowing God's word, he will not realize who he was. This, you're right. This is so beautiful because we cannot have an encounter with Jesus Christ and not repent of our sins. Just like Daryl said and Fang is saying here, how can we have an encounter with Jesus Christ and not repent of our sins? Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll share this too that, you know, when he's my, yeah, I'll share this, you know, when it says, uh, you know, he obeyed him and he, he says, because of your word, I, you know, I cast on your, cast on your net. I mean, I can see it in my life. I mean, because if I, because following his word, I, I believe that I've seen some of these miracles happen in my life, mm -hmm. you know? So he, he followed his word and what did he do? I mean, here it is. He's been fishing all day, you know, and now he's got a, fish full of net, I mean fish, a net full of fish. So, so yeah, I mean, you're going to see God's miracles happen. So it's, you know, by obeying his word, yeah, those, you know, the things are going to happen in your life. Yeah, because yeah, Jesus could have filled their nets up before that. Exactly. Yeah, so he's just showing his glory. So, you know, put them out there now, because we already did that. Put them out there. Yeah, now let me see, what, now let me show you what I can do. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I always thought of that too, you know. Um, I mean, Jesus could have fed the 5,000 at any time, but he waited for, you know, the little boy to bring, bring what he has so he can multiply it so they can see God's miracle and God's glory. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't have to let uh, Lazarus die. No. Yeah, he wanted to show his glory. Exactly.